Hi everyone and welcome to my place. Today I am here to help Jill who is getting married and she is on a very, very, very limited budget. She wanted to know if ivy into a can would be good enough for on her wedding tables and did she need to put any other flowers with it. Well Jill, I have just the solution and it's going to cost just a little bit more because we're going to not just have a can we're going to do something very nice and interesting with your can so i'm talking can any kind of can and Jill, what i suggest you do is just get everybody eating and save up all the cans now there's two ways that you can approach this this is my cheats way and i'll tell you about the other way in a moment now when I'm looking, I love ivy, and Jill, you know what, that is a bit of movement, a bit of green, you've got some movement, you've got that lovely green which is harmonising, and the other thing is it's growing, and once it has, your event is finished, you can still do something nice with the lovely ivy plant. Right, the other thing that you need is, as I said, you need your cans, and I thought that what could be really nice to get that rustic look into your wedding is you can buy the silver birch bark. Now, uh, try Amazon or your local uh, flower wholesaler or a craft shop. It comes in varying heights and widths and depths, so, and it's not that, it's not really that expensive. And if you couldn't get that, you could just use, if you could find some wallpaper that had that woody look on it would be fine, or even cork cut up and wrapped around the tins would be great. Now, what I love about this is, this stuff is oh, such good stuff. But for getting your tin, all you need to do is get your tin, cut it. I've cut it just a little bit above the rim of my tin. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue along there and then just push that down and onto it and make sure that when you're doing it, that when you sit it down flat, it's going to sit on the flat. So from there, another little bit of glue just around the sides. Do you know, I do not think that you need to spend a lot of money on flowers. And if I knew how much I've spent uh, my budgets for weddings over the years, I'm just absolutely shocked and appalled that just for one day, all of those flowers and then the event's over and then that's it. I like to do something that, well, let's just not waste money, you know? Let's not waste money. And, and if you haven't got any money, it doesn't mean to say that you don't, you can't not have what you would like. And then once that's around there, if you wanted to, just getting a little bit of jute and then just tying that around there like so, so you've got something that's really rustic and organic looking. Or if you didn't want to do that and you've actually bought your plants, I'm pleased I bought mine, it's just a matter of doing that, sticking that over there. And I think that what's going to make this look visually really interesting is if you have these in varying sizes and if you want to just put a little bit of rope a little bit of jute around there as well like so easy easy designing and then what I thought you could do Jill is get a board or you, you might have somebody near you that could cut you some big round discs off a big tree getting a next another can and then you could just put a candle onto the top of that like so getting a smaller one. In fact, that needs to be raised a wee bit because make sure that when you are putting a candle in, that isn't too close to that because that will go onto fire. But I just thought, you know, like a wee gathering of candles and bringing the bark through would be a really lovely way of just connecting everything together and then putting it onto the board would be nice. The other thing that you could do is get long lengths of fresh ivy and just have that sort of like winding its way on either side from your design because if you get the ivy at the right time of the year that it will last. Now, Jill, if you can't afford to be buying them, the other thing I suggest you do is get your can, put some little drainage holes in the bottom, cover it, put a little bit of soil down, a few stones down the bottom, fill that with wet foam, and then you could put your cuts, your um, little, t and tendril, little and tendrils, your little trails of your ivy to come out the side. And you can have that as long or as short as you want. Easy solution to having something that's informal to dress and to um, enhance your tables. I think that's a great idea. I hope I've been of assistance to you and I look forward to seeing you all again another day. Thanks for watching.